All right, so welcome back. And in this lesson, I'm going to briefly talk about how do we debug your app, and then specifically how do you see the log and how to generate the out log, right? Now think about you know in general when you're trying to um, write some program and then you try to run it, and then one of the most useful and commonly um, used approach to debug your app to to, to use a print statement, right? So in Python. You print something in Java, you do system.out.print, right? That's where you can see the data, see the value, and then you can uh, use those information to help yourself to debug your program. Now, for mobile application, you can have the same too, right? So let me kind of show you here. Now, when you are running this app right here, so I already ran my app, just to make sure I'm going to restart it and click on the button to run it again. So my, my, my app is right here, I click on the button, I can, you know, see the changes, all right? So uh, for the app development right here in Flutter, okay, so there are certain things you want to look at about your um, uh, your development message, uh, the information generated and output from the app, right? So everything actually will be showing here under the um, this little uh, console dialog uh, little, little view here, right? So that's a very standard way in the Android Studio. Now there are different kind of uh, tabs here. You know, a very uh, important one is this one called Run tab. That one shows all the runtime information about the Flutter app. Now sometimes you might need to go to the terminal if you want to run some of the um, command line tools. And then version control you don't use very often. Now the log cat is something about um, the uh, Android, right? So sometimes you might need to come back here if you want to debug specific errors about the Android devices. But most of the time you should stay on this run tab because you're doing the Flutter development. That's where the Flutter information will show up, right? So uh, let, let me actually show you how we can debug. Okay, actually, while you are um, running the app, okay, as you can see, when you are doing all the things on the phone, there are some of these random messages being generated. Those are the logs generated by the phone, by the app, right? So um, you can, uh, let me run the app again, but you can always sometimes um, just put your own information right here, right? So let me show you an example. So remember this app, what it does is that, you know, let me actually restart the whole app, is that every time when I click on a button, all right, it will actually increase the number, increase the variable, and then um, update the UI, right? So we haven't talked about exactly how this one works, how we click on this button, increase the number, but then if you look at the code, okay, so it's actually down here. Now there is something called a floating action button, all right? And there is something called a unpressed, right? And then it will say that we we're gonna call this method called increment counter. And then that's why you click on this button. When the button is unpressed, and then you actually go to call this increment counter. Okay, so what is increment counter? You can find it up here. So it is a, just a function, okay? Right here, you are increasing the counter variable by one. And that's how you can see these changes. So we'll talk more about the whole UI updates later on. But that's basically how the code flow goes, right? So it's a event trigger here, listener, you click, you run the app, you run the app action, and then trigger this function and then increase the counter. So what if I want to add a little um, message here, right? So in Flutter in Dart, you can use this print statement just like Python, it's the same thing. So for example, down here, I'm going to do a print the counter has been increased. Don't forget about the semicolon, all right? So I'm gonna run this app with the hot load button here. Okay, I'm gonna do the hot load. All right, so this time let's see what happened when I click on the button. I'm gonna click on this button, all right? Every time when I click it, it's gonna show you a little message here in the console output. The counter has been increased. That's what I did here. So I'm gonna click on this again. And every time I do this, it's gonna show up. All right, so this is how you can actually see the logs and how you debug it. And, and these are the kind of a, the system logs generated. There is nothing you can do about it, but I want you to know that where to find all this log output, where is the console for the app development? Obviously you can't print things here, right? So that's where you can do the same thing from this run tab, okay? And you can do more complicated things. For example, the counter has been increased, increased to certain value. 
all right and i can just increase that to this number right here and you can see this is not okay because the counter is a integer and then in dar you cannot just do this kind of a uh, uh, addition just like java it will not do the, the type conversion for you so what you should do is to turn this in, into a string or you do a dot to string and you can look a little bit more about how do we convert integer to string in Dart and you can Google and find out the answer very quickly. All right, so I'm gonna restart the app with a hollow button. All right, and then this time I'm gonna click on the button and you can see every time when I click it, it's gonna show you the actual value here, all right, in the print statement. All right, so that is how you find out the logs and how you debug and then printing things. Okay, use the print statement. Print statement is not very useful for app development because you can't print anything here but it's really useful for you to debug it, all right?